Hi, my name is Akshya and today I'm going to show you how to secure your MDM app console with HTTPS using JBoss 7.1 EAP. So what is HTTPS? Uh, HTTPS is the secured version of HTTP, the hypertext transfer protocol, which is used to communicate and exchange information, for example, say between your browser and your web servers. But when that exchange of data is encrypted with SSL or TLS, then we call it HTTP. So the S stands for secure. The HTTPS can be configured for MDM Hub Console either on JBoss, WebLogic, or WebSphere application servers in MDM from 10 to version onwards. Today I'll be showing you how to set it up with JBoss. So this is documented in KB590847. So first step is we need to go to our JBoss bin directory and run the JBoss CLI.bat command. If you're on Windows, it will be .bat, but since mine is a Linux box, it will be a .sh. So once it says that and it says connect, you can hit connect and then run this command. So what this command does is it adds this line over here, right, socket binding. And it says fail because it's a duplicate resource, as in it already exists that line, which in most cases will be true. If not, it'll say success. Okay, once you have done that, hit quit. And then the next step is to have your SSL key or certificate generated. I've already generated mine, but uh, you can, if you don't know how to, if you want to, then you can follow step one and two in KB463011 to generate your certificate so uh, my certificate is actually located here let me show you so i've already generated mine and this is my key store and make sure you place it under standalone configuration the next step is to stop your jboss server because we'll be making changes to standalone full.xml file this is located under standalone configuration Okay, the first step is under security realm, name equal to management, make sure you have server identities and SSL tag and do the same thing for application realm. So here is my entries over here that I've added, right? Uh, so this will be pointing to the path of the key store and it's related to the config directory. That's why I'd asked you to place your file under the config directory, the password you entered while creating and the other things, right? So the next step is after you've done that, uh, you need to find under Undertow 4.0, make sure you have these two entries. My Undertow is here, I've located it and I have these two entries in that, right? The next step is D, where under management interfaces, you have this one. Here's my management interfaces and I have the socket binding set to both HTTP and HTTPS. And the last step E is to make sure you have the default HTTPS port 8443 configured in the socket binding group, which will be towards the end over here. You can definitely uh, don't have, you can keep, dip, I mean, change it. You don't have to keep 8443, but make sure that you have the port open and there is no firewall blocking it. After that, uh, if you want to always use HTTPS to launch your GNLP file, make sure you add the below two properties A and B under CMX server.properties file under InfiMDM hub server resources directory because then this will uh, force the JNLP to launch with HTTPS instead of the remote EJB that it uses. Then next is just restart JBoss after you clear your cache. Uh, and to clear cache, if you don't know, uh, you can follow the KB steps in the KB here 145384 and then next is just connect your hub console with HTTPS your hostname or IP with the default setup HTTPS port slash CMX so uh, here I have launched it and obviously it's going to ask me the username and password right once it launches, you can open the JNLP in a text editor and see that the server mode is HTTPS because of the two properties we have enforced in the CMX server dot properties. Once you hit launch, uh, this security warning will pop up. This is fine because I haven't imported my certificate here on the client machine. You can hit continue and then it starts downloading the application. If you notice, it says HTTPS and so that means we are good to go. So here are some related knowledge base articles. 
the uh, the first one is if you want to set up HTTPS using 6.4, this is a KB for it. And if you want to set up HTTPS only, that is keep HTTPS enabled and disable HTTP, you can follow this KB. And then if you you notice a certificate warning message popped up, right? To disable that, you can follow this KB here. And then suppose you run run into an error and the error is something like unsupported key protection algorithm, then that means there's something wrong in the way you generate your certificates. And for that, you can follow this KB here. And if you want to set up HTTPS in a clustered setup, here's a KB for that. And then um, another question on if it's mandatory to create the keystore with alias as hostname, then you can follow this key. Thank you so much. Well.